how do we educate a child? Is it for him to pass the exams and go on to the next grade? Or is it to educate him for life? Exactly. And I think you've mentioned that one. We should educate our children today, not to pass his exams and not to look for a job after, but for him to become a total human being. Mm -hmm. That he must understand that there are three parts of his being, his body, his mind, and his spirit. And these three must be trained and developed properly for the benefit of that individual. If the body is weak, then there must be something wrong. Why is the body weak? Is it because of malaria or TB or whatever? Or what is it? And I think one of our biggest problems that we face in many parts of the world, I think people eat too much and they do not choose the right kind of food for the body. I've been giving lectures to people around the country that you have only one, one life, so you look after that life. And you start off with your body, you feed it the right kind of food, mostly vegetables, and drink plenty of fresh water, and uh, um, for any protein, maybe only two kinds of uh, um, protein that you, you could eat, that they must be fresh, and one is fish, and the other one is chicken. And all the others, well, you can eat once in a while, but these two must go hand in hand with the vegetables from your gardens. And then you drink plenty of fresh water. And then you exercise. And you will live long. Education must help that individual to become a total human being. And that's all that was in, included in our philosophy of education, which um, I was invited to uh, put together as a chairman of a group of very highly professional people. And we put that one together and we handed it over to the government. And they looked at it and they accepted it, but the next thing is to go ahead and implement it. Mm -hmm. It took a long time. I look at the standard of education today, the standard of education. Uh, I remember many years ago, if you, are, if you were, say, in grade 8 in those days, and you compare the grade 8 level with the grade 8 today, mm -hmm. the grade 8 today is nowhere near grade 8 many years ago. So there must be something there. Uh, maybe commitment of the teachers uh, to the teaching for the grade uh, eight level to be up. And if it is not, then maybe the teacher could be partly responsible for that. Then there are many other issues. To go more into the communities, because the people would listen more to them then there would be to people like myself um, and um, other, other leaders as well. So I challenge them, if you want to see good country coming, then you just have to go out and do more. Everyone must understand that he or she is there in life for a purpose. You're not there for nothing. And unless the people understand that they're there for, 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 for a purpose, then we're wasting our time. And I make use of some of my own little philosophies. And one of the philosophies that I talk about is, is this, that we must all become puppies. So if you are, you are puppies, then the first letter is P, you must be purposeful. You must have a purpose in life. And unless we know that we have a purpose in life, we can do all kinds of things wrong. Purpose in life. That's the first letter in puppies. The next letter, of course, is you. We must be useful. <coughs> and the next letter is P. We must be productive in whatever we do. And the other letter is P. We must be progressive. You don't just become productive and that's it. You must be progressive. And IES in every subject. And that's puppies. And people love this little story. 